Um, it's early back to normal, but sometimes it feels like one of those horror movies, like the end of Jaws. <laughs> They're so unaware of what pussies they sound like. So the meandering reminds you of a shark bigger than this studio. <laughs> That ate, remember what was in his stomach? It was like a license plate, a kid's leg. Like, that's what the insurrectionists are. Uh, everything feels copacetic on the beach, but you wonder if there's anything out there. Do 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 My pillow guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker Carlson has an opinion. Help! Help! And the shark there he is. The shark was motivated by Trump, but also planned this out months in advance. This is. And by the way, Jaws was not worse than 9 11 uh, or the Civil War. No. There's. I don't know what the casualties are in Jaws. I'm going to say like 11. Just because it's a funny number? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven! <laughs> Eleven! <clears throat> Eleven! I want to go to the eleventh floor. Eleven! You can never hear that number the same. If that was rarely seen footage of the January 6th insurrection. Yeah, actually, that was pretty bad. That was that. bad, by the way. I'm not going to deny it. A, a giant fucking <laughs> shark crawling up on your boat and eating your legs. We don't advocate that. No. Uh, go lower. Ginger Gibson, a fantastically huge pussy, I'm hoping as a woman or a gay, a politics editor at NBC News, has covered natural disasters and murder scenes. But this was different. That day, we weren't just observers. We were one of the targets, she said. Oh, thank God it's a woman. Ooh. A lot of us reporters are having a tough time with that. This reminds me of an Adrian Tomine New Yorker cover for some reason. What does that remind you of? Oof. That reminds me of Last Call. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. All right. Do you have Coke? <laughs> Do you have a way to get it into your skull? Because your nose seems sealed. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to use a key to pour Coke into your butthole. <laughs> but uh, let's go back to your place. Ginge. Uh, keep going, though. There's more. Like, it's one thing to be a pussy. I'm a pussy about a lot of stuff. But to proudly talk about it. I'm sparring with Huey on Thursday, and he doesn't drink, and he's not going to be hungover, and I know I'm going to get a headache, and I know my forehead's going to be tender after. <laughs> and then expect sympathy? Keep going down. Uh, I'm still not sleeping like I used to, even to this day, said PBS NewsHour correspondent Lisa Desjardins. I became kind of an insomniac, to be totally honest. I mean... <laughs> Keep going. It's gold. It's my office. The building I love most in the fucking world. I used to call the Capitol my girlfriend. I've devoted 15 years of my goddamn life to that building, said freelance reporter Matt Pussyface, choking up. <laughs> choking up. Oh, my God. Now, I don't want to be there. Okay, we have to look up this guy. Matt Laszlo. Dude, do you have a dad? We got to get Matt Laszlo's dad on the show and just say, so how are you feeling about this particular quote? And how would your dead dad feel knowing his grandson uh, said that the Capitol was the building he loved most in the quote unquote fucking world, called it his girlfriend, and then started crying to <laughs> Vice News saying he doesn't want to be at his job anymore because the guy with buffalo fucking horns meandered. Yeah. Yeah. You're a failure, Matt. Your grandfather died early. You know why? He died of shame. His legacy is you and your stupid fucking face. 
<laughs> you and your Tarantino skull. I'm, with those kind of guys, I, I honestly, I feel like a homo because I look at them and I go, please be gay, please be gay. Like I want them off the books. If he's gay, then I'm not here to criticize him. He's obviously low T, whatever. But don't be one of us, please. Whoa. Did he get stung by a bee? Oh my God. Oh God. January 6th was worse than my bee stinging incident that happened two hours before this picture was taken. You know what, it, his, his, his face looks like uh, you were in a car accident and you lost your face and they said, we have some good news and some bad news. We can rebuild your face, but we're gonna have to use your bag. <laughs> and you're like, okay, whatever works. Any more pics of Matt? Oh yeah. He looks so insecure in that photo, too, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, we're driving pretty fast, <laughs> and the dog doesn't have a seatbelt. Uh. He could go right through the windshield. What? Nothing says call your therapist like a house floor debate about the insurrection you were trapped in as some people who gave you personal threats over in the Capitol Council. Personal death threats. Yeah, right. The personal death threat was like, fuck you. you, you I hope you fucking die. Not like, Matt Laszlo, we saw you at Trader Joe's on Thursday. We're going to fucking kill you at 32 Claremont Lane. Oh, what's happening here? He's growing plants. What? Look at his tattoo. Ah, <laughs> oh, what is that? Maybe he's dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what is yeah, that? Yeah, Chester? Yeah, yeah. Zoom in on that. Let's see. Hey, I let some weeds grow. And now I want to eat them. What is happening? Oh, imagine the story behind that. It was a sketch I did at a party with my friend Jen, who was like my fucking soulmate, I swear to God. <laughs> and we were talking about a dystopian future where only the strong would survive and all the Trumpers would die. And it would be up and to the right. <laughs> Our port... Garden sort of like a woke Wakanda. And I made it a tattoo. All right. Uh, can we, let's see a couple more. I'm worried my... Of him? Alcohol okay. intake is making me go on this. No, no, I want to see more like oh, how right. scared they are. My fucking girlfriend! Wait, he's the gay that says my girlfriend? Oh, so he's a straight. He's straight, yeah. Whoa. That's a weird Maybe it was like a straight. joke girlfriend, like my work wife. Mm. My Is girlfriend, it, like that. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, girlfriend, yes, queen." Oh, oh my god, it keeps going. So there's a lot more. Wow. Okay, we'll okay, we'll so see how long we can last. Here we go. Uh, I do remember just feeling unsafe in my house," said Wasson. It occurred to me, like, I wonder if some protesters could show up at my home. Yeah, they really give a shit about you, Wasson. I was trying to assess whether there was actually any danger to me and my family. Your family, yeah. You want to talk about danger to people? Try being on the right. We are the ones getting attacked in the streets. We are the ones who can't show pictures of our kids. No one gives a fuck about you, you loser. Keep going down. Uh, the next day I was so angry, so, so angry. That made the headline. Said congressional reporting veteran John Bresham. Anyone who doesn't want to come up here again, I don't blame them at all. Even a little bit. One iota. <laughs> they all talk like little kids. Not even one bit. Not even one grain of sand. When the Capitol wide happened, I was 34 and a half. <laughs> Read our full story. Yeah, that's the whole dang thing. We already did. And of course, our favorite uh, frothing at the mouth liberal, Amy Siskind, my neighbor, uh, is still pushing for Proud Boys to pay. They must pay for the insurrection. Kind of surprising that the Proud Boys haven't been classified as a domestic terrorism organization. Okay, Amy, what about the Moors? What about Antifa? And then final story, Capitol Cop Michael Byrd, I believe his name is, is an incompetent boob. And that Antifa dude said, jump, jump, get in there, get in there. She jumped in, which was stupid. And uh, she got too close to Ted Pence. Hmm. And this fucking trigger happy moron shot her dead. And we find out that this guy has a long history of being totally incompetent because he's an affirmative action hire. Mike Bird was hired because he's black. Mike Bird. 
He dresses like a fucking idiot. He, you know, he dresses like Tariq Nasheed. Yeah, with the, with the matching tie and the big old yeah, he uh, like a pocket square. When your Secret Service don't have an elaborate floral pocket square with a matching tie. But there's all kinds of stories of him leaving his service weapon in the bathroom. He's got a laundry list of incompetence. And he got Ashley Babbitt killed. So when you were saying the death toll wasn't quite so bad uh, at One. the meandering... You're talking about Ashley Babbitt, because the cops were not killed there, I'm afraid. They don't even show his picture in this article. This guy's... No, you got to Google image him. Successfully hidden off the internet, for the most part. Um, well, you yeah. don't have to Google image him. You saw the Legos thing, right? Yeah, yeah. They made I didn't mention it. It's on my notes, but yeah. yeah. They caught someone with uh, one of the meanderers. They went to his house, and while going through his shit, they caught him with a Lego of the Capitol building. And a bunch of other buildings. So what's your point there, dun you dunces? <laughs> he's planning what entrance to go into? That's like their model when they're doing their plan with the blueprints. Wait, and then... Um, there you go. You know, a while ago, right, Jan January 9th, fake capital invasion Lego set goes viral. Oh, no, no that's the that Lego set that they memed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yes, right. That that's that's that, and you know, ages six plus. So, and they have capital invasion on there. So. Okay. Uh, 